Alexis asks, this appeared on my blood parrotfish's face. What is it and will it affect my other three parrotfish or my two Oscars? Hey Alexis, well from what I can see it's probably one of two things. Both of these things can be brought on by poor water quality. So what I'd recommend doing to start is to test your water and make sure all your parameters are in the safe zone, especially nitrates because they typically lead to these two problems. So possibility number one is that it's a bacterial infection of the nostril. If that's the case, I'd recommend quarantining the fish. 10 or 20 gallon tanks should be fine. From what I can tell, your parrot doesn't look huge, but it does look to be a decent size. And you're gonna to wanna to treat with a medication like uh, CCAMS Canaplex. Works really well for that scenario. If you're not sure how to set up a quarantine tank, we've actually done a video on that that you can check out right here. It's really simple and it gives you a lot of good pointers. So check that one out. Possibility number two is that it is hexameda or what's better known as hole in the head. It's really typical for cichlids. And uh, again, brought on usually by high nitrates. This bacteria kind of flares up and creates pits in the fish's face. Uh, if that's the case, you actually want to treat the entire tank and you're gonna treat with uh, Metroplex, another Seachem product that works very well for that scenario. Alexis, thank you so much for sending in your video. I hope I was able to help out a little bit there and feel free to send us another video as soon as your fish are feeling a little bit better. We'd love to see that. And if anybody else out there has any questions, feel free to record yourself using your mobile device and send in your videos to us on either Twitter or Facebook or any other method you like, and maybe we'll answer them here where everybody else can see them too.